हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आईटी जंक्शन फॉर ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट सिक्स बेसिकली दिस क्वेश्चन इज कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज पार्ट फाइव सो इफ यू हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू माई प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज गो थ्रू इट सो दैट वी कैन कवर ऑल दी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो In the previous previous video, I have already explained about the order table. This table contains the order ID column, product ID, and quantity and the price. So basically, this table contains two days two days data. That is first May data, which is highlighted with yellow, and the second May data without the highlighted ones. So now we'll straight go to problem statement. So first problem statement. write a sql query to get the highest sold products on both the days so over here sold products is nothing but the sold amount which is quantity multiplied by price so it is asking to display the highest sold amount of the product with the product id on both the days so if we go back to the main table if we see the main table on the first may if you look the product product id 3 uh, with order id order order 3 we have quantity sold 10 and the price is 25 if i multiply it will give 250 but all others will give less than 250 so this is having the maximum that's why it is present in our output table similarly for uh, for uh, transactions for second may also product 3 is having the maximum transaction because 25 into 5 is 125 rest all is having the less sold amount so this product is a product also goes to our output table and that's why we have first may product 3 250 and the product the in the second may product 3 uh, with 125 sold amount so this is the first question <coughs> now the second question write a sql query to get all the products total sales on 1st may and 2nd may adjacent to each other so total distinct product id which is present in the main table is product 1 to product 6 if you see here we have product 1 product 2 product 3 and product 5 product 5 then product 6 and all others whichever is there is repeated ones so total six distinct products are, is there so we want the sales for each product not sales total sales for each product on the first may and on the second may adjacent to each other it should be displayed adjacent to each other so this is our second question now third question is very basic question that we have to write a sql query to get all the products day wise that was ordered more than once so we have to display only those product id which was sold more than once on that day wise we have to check if it is sold more than once only in a day then only that should come in our output table so if you go back to our main table you see the product number 1 got sold two times on the first may itself that's why it is coming in our output table rest all other product is not sold two times in a day that's why no other product id has made entry in our table output table so these three questions will now we will see how we are going to solve by writing sql query so we'll solve the first question that uh, us write sql query to get the highest sold products on both the days so what i am going to do we we have to fetch the highest sold products that means if we select order day and the maximum of quantity into price as sold amount from order table and then if we group by order day we will be able to get the highest amount on each day because we are ordering by order day so we got the sold amount and the order day this was our requirement but in our requirement we also have to display the product id so we cannot add over here product id 
because if we add product id in the select clause it has also to be has to be included in the group by clause if we include that uh, product id in the group by clause the will not get our desired result so in order to in, in order to have product id in our select clause or in the uh, in the output table we will do or we will write another sub query where we will be selecting order day product id quantity into price as sold amount from the order table so this table will have all the data including the product id so if i am going to do a inner join between what we had uh, the, in the first uh, first query with order day and sold amount if we are going to join on order day a dot order day and b dot order day and a dot sold amount is equal to b dot sold amount and if we are going to fetch from this table the product id we we will get what we want so if i run the full piece of code here we are getting the desired result we have order day one and two and product id and the sold amount so the purpose here we have added the second query so that we can fetch the product id because we cannot include over here in the first query because we have to include that column in the group by uh, group by clause also if we include that in the group by clause we, our result will not be the same what is required in it will, will not be same what is required in our output table so now we'll go to the second question write a SQL query to get all the products total products total same on 1st May and 2nd May adjacent to each other this question is uh, actually a very nice question so what we'll see how we can write a SQL query so what I am doing over here I am selecting product ID and giving a case statement case when order day is equal to 1st May then I am I am giving total sales and ending as sales 1 and again I am writing case when order day is equal to 2nd May then I am giving total sales whatever is the total sales and I am giving sub, uh, as a alias as sales 2 from what I am doing here over here in the sub query I am writing select order day product ID sum of quantity into price as total sales from order table group by order day and product id so if i run this sub query we are getting the product id and the corresponding total sales for each day on first may product one got sold with total sales amount is 125 uh, on the second day product I, product one got sold with the total sales as 10 but our requirement is that we want the result in the two different the order day day uh, whatever that is first may sales should be in one column and the second may sales should be in the second column so what we can do now we can we, that's why i have used case statement here and segregated sales as 01 for the uh, whatever sales has happened on the first may and the in the second column we have uh, segregated whatever sales has happened on the second second of may and we are and then we are selecting product id and i am using here some is null function because wherever there is is a null value it will substitute with zero value and then we are considering this whole piece of code as a sub query and then we are grouping by product id so if i run this full piece of code will get our desired result we can solve this question by using pivot function as well so here what we are do doing we are selecting uh, order day product id quantity into price as total size from the order table so this is our base table now in order to uh, have this order day uh, first may and second may as a column we can use a pivot function so we want total sales total sales that's why uh, for each order day that's why we are using aggregate function sum on total sales for order day 
in these these are the two dates we want to be as a column that's why we have given over here and these column has to be present our in our in our select main select clause where i am using is null function just to replace the null value which will and giving alias as total sales 0 1 and in the second uh, in the second column i am i am getting i sorry i am using is null function for that uh, column uh, second may and giving alias is total sales 0 2 and i am also se selecting product id so if i run this full piece of code we'll get the same result if i run this uh, the previous one also it will also fetch the same result now the last question write a sql query to get all the products day wise that was ordered more than once so if i run this piece of code without having using or having clause we'll see that we are able to get the number of times the product is ordered uh, means product one got ordered two times on first may all other products if you see is having count as one so it got ordered only once for each day so if we if we have to filter this we will use having count star greater than one so if i run full piece of code we'll get this pro uh, product one got sold two times but our art output doesn't want this count column so we can comment this so if i run this now so we got the our desired result so this is how we can solve all these problems so if you have liked my video please like the video and subscribe my channel thank you and thanks for watching